Why does stress affect your thinking so much? Well, it's called evolution, and it is incredible evolution, and it's very handy for survival. I want you to imagine I'm out in the woods, right? Just mind my own business, and I hear a noise. I'm going to show you one of, if not the fastest response your brain has. Right, watch carefully. What was that? That is the orientating response. You're out minding your own business, you're paying attention to whatever you're choosing to, but something happens, and it triggers your evolution. This is sustained attention pulled away to focus on the environment. And if you cannot find the thread immediately, you're going to keep scanning for it until you do. And when you find it, you're going to lock on to it. After all, if there's a bear, a pack of wolves coming for you, and a little cute little bunny rabbit, hedge bets, keep focusing on the bear. But your evolution's not done yet. You find your bear, now you've got to do something. Now, I don't fully fancy your chances of a bear is chasing you, but give yourself the benefit of the doubt. After all, you don't have to be faster than the bear. Just faster than the person behind you. No, there's a lot going on. And you know one thing you're not going to have going on during all this? A lot of deep, complicated thinking. That's going to slow you down. You need to be jogging. See, there's nothing wrong with your brain when it's doing this. It's its incredible evolution and it's working just as it should be. Problem is your brain's springing in an anxiety bear too much and your brain's going into this state and then you've only got relatively simple solutions. And this is why psychologists are always talking about regulating your nervous system. If you feel safe enough, you can access complicated thinking and solve complicated problems. If you've been chased by a metaphorical bear, however, that is pretty hard for you to do. Hence why you regulate first. Okay.